Okay, I decided to make a video about cleaning the Chivo coffee machine, automatic coffee machine. It's a great little machine, makes good coffee. However, it does require maintenance, which is uh, not clear when you purchase it. And it, the unit will stop working properly if it's not maintained. So this morning my wife went to make coffee and we probably make two to four cups a day on the machine and it's been at least uh, four to six weeks since I cleaned it last so it stopped making it and the water started draining inside the machine telling me it's time to do a, a good cleaning so here we are first thing you want to do is remove it from the power supply on the back here and then I remove the water tank which happened to be almost full because we were trying to make coffee this morning then you have to open it up from the side, the side panel here, and see what you're up against. Whoa, look at that. Coffee ground stuffed. Actually some mildew on it as well. And what you can see what happens is since some of the coffee bypasses the unit, the brewing unit, this is called the brewing unit, um, it ends up Stacking in the bottom, stacking in the top and the sides, and it has to be removed and cleaned. So that's what we're going to do. First thing I do, they give you this little brush they call for cleaning, and it helps, but it's not adequate and slow. Um, and that's so I purchased a inexpensive paintbrush and use that for cleaning as well. Where I, I you can remove the. Uh, tray here, the drainage tray, and I put that aside as well, and I leave the cassette in here with the tray on the internal side so that all the coffee I take off will fall into that tray. And here we go, we'll start, we'll start by removing the brewing unit because that actually, you hit those two, squeeze these two little buttons and pull it aside, but you can see it builds up quite a mess. That was from this morning. You can start knocking some of this off. Essentially this can be uh, rinsed and washed, but from there you can start with the, uh, the brush and start knocking some of this stuff down. some better lighting here. I'll try to go up at the top here where the grinder drops the grounds in the back on the sides on the top structure here. You can see the paintbrush really helps in the process by giving you more surface area but also a nice sweeping action. Sometimes I reach my finger up here to make sure that the uh, grinding unit has cleaned. And then I try to get up into this little pot here where they used to empty the used coffee. good so far. We haven't had major problems with it. Um, I, do, I, do, I do the descaling when the unit tells me to, so that, that probably helps. But this is the part that uh, 
I'm sorry, the V is most annoying because it, uh, you might want to, my wife wanted to make coffee this morning. This happened and uh, essentially she couldn't get coffee. So here we are. Okay, I want you to clean that down. Pull out the tray. You can see all the grounds have fallen into the tray. You dispose of them. And this will be a quick clean. This won't be a deep clean. Sometimes I'll sit there and wipe it off and wipe every piece off. But I'm going to do it quickly this morning for this video. And then you take a rag. wipe inside here to get all the grounds out. Now, sometimes the grounds get taken out of the corners which pre uh, prevent the uh, tray from closing properly. So take your rag, make sure you get way in the back. You might want to wipe some of these units down too. throat there of the grinder. As far as your hand can reach. See there's a lot of coffee all around the inside of it. But it's looking pretty good at this point. I'm gonna take one more wipe down here. And then start cleaning the parts. Okay. So here we have the brewer. The brewer is obviously looking pretty rough. I'll rinse it off. It's pretty much the way I clean it. And I'll take this little brush here and there's anything stuck on it. It's really close to remove this water and get those off. That part, and you got the door. Obviously, it needs to be removed. Really clean. I think this is pretty readily. The plastic is pretty good. I really like the design of these, uh, the way these posts go in there, and the magnets that keep it all together. It's a fairly well designed unit, it's just, uh, you know, the maintenance is what you have to learn about when you start having problems. You probably didn't realize it. But once the unit's clean, it starts to work properly and make good coffee again. Pretty much everything cleaned up. I'm going to put a pause on the video and then come back. Now, well, can't seem to figure that out, so. Okay, back. Pretty much cleaned and dried every piece of the unit that we've um, taken out, and it's time to return them. Piece of... So the first thing you want to do, if you get the unit back in position, is to reinstall this brewing unit. It goes right in like that, and it clicks into place, so it's nice and firm. And then essentially you can put the door back on, which Looks like this. Um, reinstall the bottom tray with the rounds tray. Reinsert the water. The front tray. And there you have it. We're back to normal. And we've cleaned our machine. 
and should start and make good coffee again. That's the Chibo maintenance. Hope it's helped. Um, took me a while to learn how to manage it and figure it out, but I think that's so far my best methods that I'm sharing with you. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.